I guess we are now ready to start. Okay. So our main topic here is categorical syllogism. It is a quite long topic. So first, let us define what syllogism is. Lang kasi I have to admit your classmates every time somebody comes in. It's a little bit disturbing, pero ganun talaga. So we have to understand what a syllogism is. So basically, a syllogism is composed of uh, three propositions. Tatlong proposition. Kaya nakalagay dito, there is one proposition which is deduced from two others. Kaya dalawa. So, two plus one, three propositions. Okay? So, yung one proposition na ito, ito yung conclusion na tinatawag. At yung two others na sinasabi dito ay yung dalawang premises. So, ulitin ko, ang syllogism ay tatlong propositions. Dalawang premises, isang conclusion. Now, let us go to categorical syllogism. So, nadagdagan siya ng categorical. And if it's a categorical, it is not conditional. It is not hypothetical. That's why you do not see, do not read the word if or when. So, sigurado siya. So, so yun lang ang naidagdag doon. Categorical syllogism. So, we have an example here. All free beings are capable of self-determination. This is a categorical syllogism. Uh, categorical proposition, I should say. Okay? This is a categorical proposition. So, una, pangalawa, all persons are free beings. Another categorical proposition and hence all persons are capable of self-determination. That is our third proposition. Hence, we have three propositions and we call these three propositions as syllogism and particularly we call this as categorical syllogism. We call the first proposition as first premise at all. First premise ang tawag natin dyan. Next, the second one is second premise. And the third one is conclusion. Is there, is there a time that the first and second premise will be interchanged? Wala. Mauna pa rin yung first, kaya nga first, okay? So you cannot interchange the, uh, the position or the arrangement of these three propositions. Ganon at ganon. First, second, and then conclusion. I hope that is clear. Now let us understand the, the, uh, the elements of uh, syllogism. We have the premises. So nasabi ko na kanina, yung premises ay yung first and second premise. Yan. The two known propositions. Then we have the conclusion or the, or the consequence. We say consequence because it is the result of the two propositions. So we have the conclusion. Then, we have the terms. So I remember one of you asked about the terms. Kasi nahihirapan na or hindi masyadong ma... Maliwan na kung ano ba yung mga terms. There are three terms in a syllogism. In a valid, so take note, in a valid syllogism, there should only be three terms. So what are those terms? The first one is the major term. Pag sinabing major term, nasaan ba siya? This is basic, okay? You cannot... We cannot proceed to the next topics if we cannot understand, if we cannot identify correctly 
the different terms. So, kailangan yung intindihin, kailangan yung malaman kung paano ba ma-identify, paano ba malaman kung nasaan yung major, nasaan yung minor at middle. Major term. It is found in the predicate of the conclusion. So, remember that one. Kung ano yung predicate ng conclusion, yun ang major term. I repeat, the major term is the predicate of the conclusion. Always. Always. Parati yan. So, sa halimbawa natin sa taas, nasaan ang major term? So, pupunta tayo sa conclusion. This is the conclusion. No, so, sir, nasaan ang predicate? The predicate is this one. Capable of self-determination. Kung ito yung predicate na sinasabi, ibig sabihin, ito yung major term. So, always. So, uh, pag uh, tinatanong ka, pag sinabihan ka na, nasaan ang major term, puntahan mo kaagad yung conclusion. You go directly to the conclusion because you can find there. Do not go to the premises. Mahihirapan ka. Okay? That is the major term. Now, let's go to the minor term. The minor term is the subject of the conclusion. If the major term is the predicate, the minor term is the subject. So in our example here, all persons ito, is the minor term. So, ibig sabihin, mag-partner yung minor at major. Mag-partner sila. You cannot separate the two. Both are located in, the, in our conclusion. So, major is the predicate and minor is our subject. Now, we only have uh, one left term. That is the middle term. Ibig sabihin, yung middle term, hindi mo siya mahahanap, hindi mo siya makikita sa conclusion. You cannot find it in the conclusion because uh, there would be more than two, uh, more than three terms kapag ganun mo. Kasi dalawa lang dapat sa isang proposition ang term. Kaya kung dalawa na sa conclusion, wala ng pangatlo. Kaya wala doon yung middle. So nasan, nasan ang middle? Nandun siya sa dalawang premises. So, ano nga ba ang middle term? That, uh, this term is a mediator. It mediates. It serves as a bridge between the major and the minor terms. Isa siyang tulay. It, it, <clears throat> it can connect or disconnect kasi meron naman tayong uh, negative propositions. So, in our example, if we are able to identify the major term, this one, minor term, this one, ano ang natitirang term dito? Of course, ito na. Kung hindi mo pa ma malalaman ito, ewan ko na. So, free being would be our middle term. Ito, yan. All free beings. This will be our my middle term. So it can only be found in both premises. Never in the conclusion. The moment you find, find it in the conclusion, it would mean that the syllogism is va invalid. Okay? So, ayan yung tatlong term natin. So, major, minor, and then middle. So I hope that is clear. Kailangan, kailangan. So we have the symbols. Yung ginagamit na symbols sa uh, major term is P, predicate. So huwag niyong kalimutan niyan. It's not M, okay? It's not M. Symbol for minor term is S because subject. Middle term for, for M because it is uh, middle. M, ito. Ito na ang ginamit. So ito yung first class is for affirmative. 
This one is negative minus sign u for universal term, p for particular term. Kailangan kasi yung dalawang ito nilagay para mas madaling uh, ma-identify kung yung term ba universal or particular. Pero pag first time mo mahihilo ka talaga, but let's try to understand. So we have another example. All trees are plants. An acacia, an acacia is a tree. Therefore, an acacia is a plant. So our premises, itong dalawa. The first one, again, as I have said, is our first premise, second premise. Then the conclusion. Now, in the categorical syllogism, meron ng pangalan. Yung pat dalawang premises na yan. We have, the first premise is called the major premise and the second premise is called the minor premise. So, don't interchange. Premises are different from terms. A major premise is, a, is different from a term. A minor premise is different from a minor term. If we say premise, that is a proposition. If we say term, word or words, okay, or phrase, never a proposition. So let us try to uh, understand this proposition. All trees are plants. An acacia is a tree. Therefore, an acacia is a plant. So, simulan natin sa conclusion. Nasaan ang ating major term? Again, the major term is our predicate. So, a plant. Ito. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng P and P? Malaki na P at maliit na P. Malaking P is predicate, major term, maliit na P, particular term. So it means our major term is particular. Uh, para maintindihan mo, bakit siya naging particular? Okay. A term is particular if it is only a part of the whole. Ang term ay particular siya kung siya ay bahagi lamang ng uh, kabuuan. Okay? Bahagi lamang siya ng kabuuan. So it is not the totality, it is not the whole of it. It does not include everything. It is just part of the whole. It's like, like this one, a plant. Okay? It's just a plant. So it is a part of many plants, of all, of all the plants in the universe. Pero pag naging all plants yan, it includes everything. Naging universal siya. Or if it, includes, if it excludes everything also, universal. So ulitin ko, pag particular, bahagi lamang siya ng kabuuan. It, is just, it only includes a part of the totality or of the whole. For us, if it is universal, it includes or excludes everything. An acacia, so our subject, our minor term, kaya S. And then, U. Ibig sabihin, universal. Because here, it includes all acacia. Though, it is, though this is singular, but it is treated as universal. Okay? Though it is singular, but it is treated as universal. So, meron na tayong major term and minor term. Now, nasaan ang ating middle term? So, taken ng plants. Taken ng acacia. Alin dyan ang natitira? C3 si na lang. Kaya C3, si tree, all trees and a tree, ito yung middle term natin. 
yun ang middle term natin. Before we proceed, is there anyone who did not understand? Is there anyone who cannot identify the three terms I've just discussed? Of course, excluding those who just entered. Ulitik ah. Awatan nyo dahil kasi naman nyo maawatan dahil tinga terms. Awan sir sir bijas sa maruno pulos nga maawatan nyo. This is a this is a prerequisite knowledge to our succeeding discussions. So I would assume that silence means you have understood. Now let us proceed with pasadahan natin yung ano rules. Kasi kailangan na naman ito dun sa next na topic natin yung moods and figures and yung Venn diagramming. So we have eight rules though uh, the number of Rules is not fixed. Kung mag-research kayo, may sampo, may pito, may walo. In the reference that I used, it has eight. So, ito yung sundin natin, walo. So first, only three terms must appear in the syllogism. So yung sinabi ko kanina na tatlong term. Dapat tatlong term lamang. Kasi, Kapag sobra siya o kulang, invalid na siya. Worse, we cannot deduce, we cannot infer any conclusion. Hello, I'm back. I'm sorry. The, uh, the, the connection was lost. Sango kayo, anyone? Anyone? Sango kayo na iwan? Aparte? It's Silodium, sir. Huh? Silodium? Yes, sir. Rule number sir. one, right? Yes, okay, sir. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to repeat. I'll just repeat. Biglang nawala yung signal. So, ulitin ko ha, for rule number one, it is telling us that a valid syllogism must have three terms only. Less or more, we cannot deduce a conclusion, a valid one. Tulad ng halimbawa na ito, meron tayong apat na terms dito. All buildings, one, tall, malawa, Humans, pangatlo, growing, ang apat. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Sir, paki-shareman, the PowerPoint. 
Ah, hindi siya. Oh, sorry. Nag-ano pala. Bumalik pala sa ano. Thank you, sir. So our example here contains four terms. That is why we cannot deduce, we cannot infer a conclusion to make the syllogism valid. Hence, this is invalid. You can still put conclusion, however, it would be obviously invalid. Okay? Kaya bawal na bawal na kulang o sobra ang terms. Dapat tatlo lamang. Now, literal ito about the identical words, but they mean different things. Yung, yung mga... Yung I go on, sir. Sir, not a mute. Disconnected, na. Okay, di pa lang. Connecting siguro. Ay, lumiwis. Sus! <laughs> Sus! Nag-chickstay pa lang ang pag-uruan. Sige, sige. No. With them, Muna. Hi, guys. Welcome to my blog. Gago. Open camera na ako. Sana all my gift. Sana all. Sana all my gift lang. My gift. Say dragon, dragon. Dragon, dragon. 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 Ay, kung hindi mistro tayo. O ano, nagtala ko yun. Umaw. Nag-left. Baka na nga. Nag-left. Excuse me, recorded nyo dahil ito eh. Baka na pa na nga. Naka-record nga eh. Ada-record ni sir dito eh. Again, I'm sorry that our internet connection is unstable. So I have to shift to another connection. I hope this will work. If not, I don't know. So please bear with the inconvenience brought to you by our very good connectivity in the Philippines.
Ano saan tayo niya ngayon ngarot? It is beyond our power. Sino bang gustong ganito nangyayari? Sa sauna ka't awan gaya man. Very good talaga, sir. Okay. Puso talaga ang balikan pag ganito. No, no, no choice. So, balikan ko na naman yung sinasabi ko kanina. Uh, it's good for the previous example because you can literally and obviously see that we have four terms or more than three terms. But in this case, for example, in our two other examples, we see the same words, but they mean different things because those words are either equivocal or analogous. Ibig sabihin, dapat univocal lamang yung mga termino. Kapag sinabing univocal, parehong pareho ang mas it. Tao yan. Tao, men. The picture on the wall is a man. Therefore, the picture on the wall must eat. Sir, excuse me, sir. Parang... Sir, on one day, go on. PowerPoint. Sir, tapi... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to shift to the other connection again. Ano naman din anton? Apan din tawag siya kay Latan. Sir, mabalin niya ako na lang. Astoy, sir. Uh, I-record ngayon na lang, sir. Tapos send. So, naka-record ba ito yung may... And oh, for the and last time, and if it will not work, then we'll say goodbye. This is saying effort. Not na choppy, sir. Okay, lang, sir. Okay, sir. Dap tayo lang, sir. Ano ba talaga? Choppy o hindi? Sir, answer. Okay, lang, mat answer. 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 Okay, lang, mat answer. Okay. So, ulitin ko ha, ito Sa halimbawa na tayo. Men must eat. The picture on the wall is a man. Therefore, the picture on the wall must eat. Alangan naman kakain yung picture sa wall, di ba? Obviously, this is invalid. But what makes it invalid? You must be able to identify. Sir, sa bali. Uh, ah, sa bali. Ano ba yan? Puro sablay na. Chai chats the ito. Tama naman. Sir, sa Bali. Sa Bali din na-share ko? Yes, sir. Sir, sa Bali. Messenger. We'll be presenting. Why are you presenting, yes. Mr. Awingan? Then naka-share. Remove your presentation. Okay na, sir. Okay na, okay. Ayan. Again, obviously based on our conclusion, this syllogism is valid because a picture on a wall cannot eat. Hindi naman pwedeng kakain ng isang larawan. But what makes it invalid? So, yun na yung mahalaga. So, we have to identify so we have to analyze our syllogism. Pareho bang ibig sabihin ng men 
dito men must eat so this word men would refer to us living beings tayong mga buhay kasi kumakain tayo so we must eat but the word man here dito is only a picture so hindi naman pwedeng kakain ng picture parehong tao pero magkaiba kasi ito una humihinga ito hindi na humihinga this is a living thing this is just a thing because it, it does not live so analogous yung term natin dito hindi univocal ang term one una yan men two three and four so we have four terms the, thus it violate it violates this rule na tatlong terms lang dapat okay similar with our next example green is a color his joke is green therefore his joke is a color seemingly it is valid but if we're going to analyze it it is invalid bakit nakikita mo ba ang kulay ng joke of course not but what makes it invalid again kasi yung green sa una tumutukoy sa nakikitang kulay pero yung green dito sa his joke is green is different figurative na siya so these are two different terms hence if we're going to count the terms in the syllogism there are four green color joke and green kaya invalid siya so rule number one yan then second mm -hmm. the major and the minor terms must be particular in the conclusion if used as particular in the premises So, kung yung major term ay particular, same with the minor term, kung particular sila sa conclusion, dapat particular din sila sa premises. Kaya nasa mong nagsinurot. Magkapareho. Ulitin ko ha. If the major term, for example, is particular in the conclusion it must also be particular in the premise the same thing with the minor term if the minor term in the conclusion is particular it must also be particular in the premise otherwise we have illicit major or illicit minor so let's have an let's have an example all humans are animals, no monkeys are humans. Therefore, no humans are animals. This is obviously scientifically invalid because we are considered to be animals. But what makes it invalid? So, nandito na illicit major. San ba major natin? Animals. Ano ba siya dito? Particular siya. Again, what makes it particular because it is only describing a part of the animal kingdom. It does not include all the animals, kaya particular siya. Animals is particular, and that is our major term. Balikan natin yung sinasabi sa taas, na kung particular sa baba, dapat particular din siya sa taas, sa premise natin. Sa yung animals dito? Yun, ito. Ano, ah, no, no. Yeah, tama. All humans are animals. Tama ba? Oh, wait. Okay. Wait. Yes? Yes. 
Sir, can you share your screen, sir? Nakashare. Hindi ba siya nakashare? Share. Share screen, sir. Nakashare naman, naman siya. Nakashare naman, sir. Nakashare naman. Sa akin na wala. Nakashare. Ganyan yung nag-appear sa akin, sir. Bakit kasi may nag-represent na iba? Miss Salvio, stop presenting whatever you're presenting out there. Bakit sa akin na wala? Oh wait, parang mali yung ano ko dito, halimbawa. Parang animals, parehong particular naman yata dito. Baka naman minor, wait. Minor, no man, no humans. All humans. Think something is wrong? No monkeys. Something is wrong with my syllogism. Oh, forget that one. Dito na tayo sa pangalawang ano. May, may mali dito. Sobra yung terms yata dito. Sino pwede sumsumrok? Dito na tayo sa chairs or furniture. No tables or chair. No tables or furniture. So illicit major sabi dito. So let us see. Furniture. This term is particular. Kasi hindi lahat naman ng <clears throat> ah, hindi lang tables ang furniture. There are other furnitures. So it is just describing a part of this furniture. And then dito sa taas Chairs are furniture. Okay, off yung audio. Sino may aso dyan? Mr. Segundo. Medyo nawawala ako siya sa number 2. Sir, mabalin yung pagkita, Jake. Our, my screen is shared already. Others Sir, can see it and I don't know with you. Nakashare na siya. Nawala, sir, nawala. Yung pangalian niya. Okay, ulit na lang, sir. O, oh, ulit. Thank you. Awan mo, sir. Ayun, nanda. Yes, thank you. Okay na po, sir. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, dito dito sa middle term. The middle term must appear in the conclusion. Sabi ko kanina, the terms that should be found in the conclusion are the major and the minor terms. The moment that you see the middle term in the conclusion, it means that the syllogism is invalid. Walang puwang yung middle term sa conclusion. Halimbawa ito, giant is a small guy, giant is a great soldier, therefore giant is a great, is great and small. So obviously, ito yung ano natin, middle term natin, giant. Nandito siya sa major premise, nandito siya sa, 
minor premise, tapos nandi, nandi dito rin siya sa conclusion. So there is a violation, illicit middle term, as I call it. Same thing here, star apple is green, star apple is sweet. And dito yung major term, minor term, dinagdag pa yung Sir. middle term. Kaya, this is invalid. Yes? What is it? Sir, awan pa, Jay. Kung nilagyan ng Jay, pagkita anti, Jay, explain mo, sir. Is it true to all? Ada. Ada, sir. Yun lang. Pakisirin ka ba lang sa sabali na din makita? Oh, um, pretty one eight right three. What are you put? If you don't have it, uh, I think it's in being a good in senior. Yeah. Number four, the middle term must be used at least once as a universal. Malitin ko, the middle term should at least be used once as a universal. Ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng parehong particular ang paggamit sa middle term. So, dapat universal at particular siya. Or universal, universal. Hindi pwedeng parehong particular. Kung parehong particular, magiging invalid na siya. So, kailan ba mag, maging universal? So, yun ang sinabi ko kanina. If it, it is universal if it includes or excludes everything. Okay? Yung composition na yan, it includes or it excludes everything. So, papasok dito yung distributed and undistributed na sinasabi. So, halimbawa, Every monkey is e is eating banana. Jordan is eating banana. Therefore, Jordan is a monkey. So obviously, Jordan is a person here. But and our conclusion is telling us, Jordan is a monkey. Of course not. Hence, this is invalid. But what makes it invalid? Because of the middle term, which is used twice as. Particular. Ano bang ating middle term dito? Itong eating banana. Eating banana. Particular. There is a, uh, meron tayong ano, clue dito. Ito yung mas madaling clue natin. Kaya kung kailan natin masasabi na universal or particular yung isang term. So we always remember that we only have four. Apat lang yung ating propositions. The A, P, I, O propositions. You have to memorize A, E, I, O. Kapag A proposition, so punta, punta na nga lang sa, ito, sa summary niya. Pag A proposition, the subject is distributed the predicate is undistributed. Kapag sinabing distributed, universal siya. Because it includes or it excludes everything. So all S are P. Yung S, it includes all S. Kaya distributed siya. Yung P, undistributed. Ibig sabihin, sa class ni P, isa lang siya sa marami. Isa lang siya sa Kabuuan. Okay? Kapag A proposition naman, no SRP. Distributed yung S kasi it excludes lahat from the class of S. Walang S. Kaya distributed siya. 
Ganon din sa, sa ating P. Walang S na P. Walang P na S. Kaya distributed yung predicate. So A, distributed yung subject. And distributed yung predicate. Kapag E, distributed yung subject. Distributed din yung predicate. Pagpunta mo ng I. Sum S R P. Undistributed na pareho. Because they only refer to a part of the of, of the whole. Sum nga eh. Sum lang. Hindi siya all, hindi siya no. Hindi siya every. Every. Pagpunta mo sa O, sum S R not P. Undistributed yung subject. Sum. And then, distributed yung predicate, not P. Walang S. Ilang S ay hindi P. Ayan. So, please, D, D, U, U, or predicate U, D, U, D. Take, take it. Put it to your heart, put it to your mind. Tapos balikan natin ito. Balikan natin ito. Every monkey is eating banana. So this is a proposition. Kaya ibig sabihin, distributed ito, ito, undistributed. Kaya particular siya. Another A proposition. Jordan is eating banana. So, distributed, undistributed kaya parehong particular. And the same A, Jordan is a monkey. That's why it violates rule number four, that a middle term must be used at least once as universal. Because for twice, our middle term is used as particular. Yeah. Balikan nga na ito, itong halimbawa. Let's try to understand this. A, E. Animals is our middle uh, major term. Yung P natin. P, U. Kasi universal siya. Ito naman. S U. Universal din ito. No humans. Oh, mali nga ito. Parang naulit na yun. Dapat monkeys ito. Sabi monkeys. Yan.
Go. 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 Jump. Oh, hello. Ada apa ini sih? Ada apa ini sih di tui? Awan negle. Awan negle tu. Ada apa? Ada nak di tui nak pukul mana? Nawawala talaga signal naten. Try VPN sir. Dan, mana? Dan, dan, sir. Dan, sir. Dan, dan, sir. Dan, sir. Dan. This is. Okay, ulitin ko. Illicit major itu kah se? Yung term, yung major term natin is distributed siya dito kasi universal. Pero dito, undistributed siya. Kasi... So, sinabi ko na kanina yung palatandaan. Kapag A, universe, uh, kapag A, the subject is distribu distributed and the predicate is undistributed. Kaya dito, distributed ito. Ito, undistributed. Kapag E naman, both are distributed. Kaya distributed ito, undistributed ito. And, uh, animals. So this is illicit major. Dapat agsinurot da. The same thing here, in our example here. Gets na gets. Parehas. Kasi ganito rin ang format niya. A, E, E. Bakit ito? A, E, 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 E. Ganon din. Ibig sabihin ito, distributed, pero sa taas, undistributed in furniture. Ulitag ah, kapag distributed, universal, kaya PU ito kapag gagamitin natin yung ano natin? Symbol natin. Ito, P, P. Kaya, illicit major. The same. Pare pareho dito. Pero dito kasi, let us see. E, ito. E, A, E. Illicit minor. So, let us go directly to the minor. This is distributed. Ayun. Distributed yung no intelligent dito sa, sa baba. Distributed ito. Distributed. E-proposition siya. Pagpunta mo siya sa, pagpunta mo sa taas, undistributed siya. So nga nagsinurot. So nga illicit minor term. Kaya invalid siya. Okay? Kasi hindi lang naman ang hell ang mag magaling. Pati, na, pa, pati rin naman kayo. Okay? So that is for number two. Three, tapos na, four, okay na. O ito, pakakilala yung screenshot ata niyo. Ito yung summary. This is very important. Please memorize that one. You can take a picture of that or a screenshot. Okay na? Good. Number five. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Both, okay. Number five, if, if both premises are affirmative, the conclusion must be affirmative. So, no math kuma, ay sa ibang iba pala. Always remember, Kapag parehong affirmative or plus-plus sign yung major and minor premise natin, yung conclusion, conclusion natin ay affirmative din siya. So, 
plus 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 dapat. Tulad niya to. A learning institution is licensed. Affirmative siya. KSU is a learning institution. Affirmative. Therefore, KSU is licensed. Affirmative din siya. Pero pag naging negative ito, it's not. Wala na. Invalid, magiging invalid na siya. Kasi saan nang galing yung not? Wala namang pinanggalingan. Wala, wala namang negative dito sa taas. Sa dalawang premises, wala. Okay? Yan. Well, ito yung, ito yung halimbawa natin dito sa baba. Any vice is a sin. Some hobbies are vices. Therefore, some hobbies are not sins. Parehong positive ito. Positive. Positive. Pero biglang naging negative. Saan lang nanggaling yung negative? Yung pareho namang positive dito. So, it is invalid. Ganun lang. So, always remember na kailangan kapag plus dyan, plus din dito, plus din dito. Kapag naging negative na siya dito, invalid na siya. Okay? That's number five. Napit na. Premises, both premises must not be negative. One at least must be affirmative. So, pwedeng parehong positive ang premises natin. Pero hindi pwedeng parehong negative. Kasi kung parehong negative, wala tayong conclusion. Manila is not, is not in Thailand. Malaysia is not in Malaysia. Uh, Thailand is not in Malaysia, therefore, Manila is not in Malaysia. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Hence, this is invalid. It's a negative ito. Negative din ito. Neg negative din yan. Wala, hindi pwede. Ang sinasabi dito, dapat... May positive, may negative. So, pwedeng parehong, neg pa parehong positive, pero hindi pwedeng parehong negative. Arugtong niyan ay, kung may negative na premise, dapat negative yung conclusion. If one premise is negative, automat automatically to make the syllogism valid, the conclusion must be negative. If one premise is negative yet the conclusion is positive, or affirmative, I should say, automatically that syllogism is invalid. Here is our example. So negative siya. No. Tapos positive. Nasabi ng rule natin, kung ganyan, dapat negative yung conclusion. But here, the case is, it is positive. That's why it is invalid. Kahit hindi, ba, kahit hindi natin intindihin, mali na talaga yan. Same thing here. Positive plus uh, dapat positive plus negative tapos naging positive. Dapat ito ay negative na siya. So, yun ang sinasabi. Okay? Kasi la, you can apply the uh, mathematical principle here that negative plus positive, it should be negative. Okay? So, if we're going to look at it, we can have a valid syllogism if we have two positive premises resulting to a positive affirmative conclusion. But we cannot have a valid syllogism if we have uh, both negative premises because we cannot infer a valid or a correct or truthful conclusion. And we cannot also have a valid syllogism if 
one of the premises is negative yet our conclusion is affirmative okay that is five six seven and eight if both premises are particular no conclusion is possible but in particular yung sum okay Ayan, ito. Quantify, I should say. Quantify, sabi lang. Some particular some also particular and we cannot have a possible conclusion. P din siya, pero invalid na yan. Okay, so these are the eight uh, rules in having a valid syllogism. Yeah. Any questions so far? Now let's proceed. So, mood and figure. Mood and figure tayo. Hmm, meron pa rin pumapasok. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, okay. sir. Yes, okay. sir. So, madali lang yung ano natin. Ay, bakit? Iba pala yung ano na share. Sorry. Dapat sa ano na. Iba pala yung na-share ko. I'm sorry. Uh, 5.2 It's different. Dapat yung isa na. Oh, where is that 5.2? Is it? Hindi makita. Wait, I'm fixing. I cannot find Mood, mood, mood. I cannot find. Uh, ayan yung na-share. This way, it's not working well. Please, 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 where are you? you on? The video that I actually gave yun nila ng ating pag-aralan kasi yun ang madali it's very easy when may talag text na nito so I'm going to explain this one yung laman ng video na to so here we're going to understand mood and uh, tawag not mood and uh, figure so, tapos na tayo dito sa ano? Tapos na tayo sa term. Let's get to the mood and figure. Yun, mood. Sinasabi dito, the mood is the order of sentence types when a syllogism 
is in standard form. Kaya, ito, the AAA is the mood, sinasabi. Sa nagalayin ngayon, ito, all men are mortal, A, proposition. All persons identical to Socrates are men, another A proposition. And the conclusion is also A. That's why we have AAA mood. So as simple as that, that is the mood. Just identify what type of proposition are there in the syllogism and that is So dalawa, we have three types of propositions in a mood. That's how simple it is. That's why if you're asked to identify the mood, ito lang ang gagawin ninyo. Kaya hindi yan complicated. Tulad nito, some watercolors are masterpieces. I, all watercolors are paintings. A, some paintings are masterpieces. I, so the mood is I, A, I. As simple as that. Don't make it complicated. Sir, excuse me. Sir, what's the... One among... Sir, yes. Sir, excuse me. Yes, come on. Sir, may I ask if what's the clue? It is I, A, I. Come again. Come, come again. How can you tell me? Come again. You are choppy, so I didn't understand what you're saying. Sir, how can we determine if it is IAI? Hindi natin makaintindihan pag ang tanong niyo pa. Na-explain that time. That is... I cannot stomach ako na dahil tanong. Dahil pa lang tayo na naawatan. We have that lesson during the midterms. Awat na na subliyante, D.I. Tapos lahat ako pa nagbilang ti 1, 2, 3 man nun. Please, balikan nyo yung lesson natin na yan. I'm not going to discuss here. That would be too much if I will go back to that lesson. Balikan mo. Sino nagtanong nun? Wala. Uh, may itlog ka talaga nung kasta. If you don't know how to identify the different propositions, we only have four propositions, A, E, I, O. I will not discuss this if I did not discuss that one. So I'm sorry to say that, pero I'm not going to discuss that again. Complicated talaga yung lesson natin pag ganyan na hindi naiintindihan pala. So that is the mood, okay? Nag-iba na yung mood ko tuloy. I didn't expect that question. Kung sino man nagtanong noon, magtanong ka na sa iba. Huwag na ako. So that is the mood and then we go to the figure. If we talk about figure, we are talking about the placement, the location of the middle term. Nasaan ba yung middle term natin? That is figure, okay? Or what type of propositions are there? In our syllogism, we are talking about mood. But if you talk about the location of where the middle term is, that is figure. So, in the last activity that we had, I ask you to determine the figure and the mood and then determine whether valid or invalid. Ganun lang siya kasimple. It's not actually complicated. 
it's never complicated. So let's proceed with the placement of our terms, middle term. Ito. So it's here in the video. Pero pag din tinignan to, talagang complicated siya. So we only have four figures. Figure one would tell us that the placement or the location of the middle term is subject and predicate. Subpre na tinatawag. Subject in our major premise. So nandito, the red one. And predicate in our minor premise. So yan. Subpre, don't forget that. That one. Figure one is subpre. Subject, predicate. Figure 2, ilipat mo lang yung una. Kaya magiging pre-pre siya. Predicate. Both premises, you can locate, you can find the middle term in the predicate. So, ito. Figure 3, balik tarin mo lang yung figure 2. Sub-sub. So both subjects. Figure four. Balik tarin mo yung number one. Figure. Preso. That's the figure. So if you're going to combine mood and figure, AA1, AA2, AA3, AA4, AEIO1, AEIO2, and so on. Ganun siya. Okay, so that is the mood and the figure. I think we have example here a while ago. Ito. <clears throat> some watercolors are masterpieces, some watercolors are paintings, some paintings are masterpieces. So, saan nakalocate yung ating uh, middle term? Of course, you have to identify first. So, our mid middle term, watercolors, watercolors. Yeah. Nasa parehong subject. So, anong figure siya? Figure 3. So, if you're asked to identify the mood and figure, it would be I, A, I, 3. Dito sa kabila. Some flying animals are mammals. All elephants are mammals. Mammals ang ating middle term. And it's located both as predicates. So, figure 4. So, mood and figure. I, A, I, figure 4. Or 4. So, that is the mood and figure. Now, how, do, how to determine the, the validity? Actually, nandito rin siya, pero ewan ko anong nangyari. Nandito na siya actually. If you're just able to determine, kung alam niyo lang yung mga, yung mood and figure, alam na ninyo yung mga valid and invalid. Kahit din yung pangabasahin eh. Ito lang i-memorize ninyo o tignan nyo. The, uh, the rules. Kasi nakabase yung validity nila sa rules. It means if a syllogism is valid, it does not violate any rule. If it violates any rule, then it is invalid. But there are some exceptions. Yung mga conditional. Because we have 15 unconditional valid syllogisms and we have nine conditional valid syllogisms. So na yung kanina, wait lang. 
Hey, where are you? Yan, ito. Oops, yan. Figure 1, there are four unconditional valid syllogisms. AAA, EAE, AII, EIO. So, ang hidagitan ng lagan dito, no, these are just mnemonic uh, devices so that you will be able to memorize easily. Kaya ginamit lang yan. You can have your own mnemonic device. Figure 2, there are also four valid syllogisms through these figures, uh, modes. EAE, AEE, EIO, and then AOO. Figure 3, apat din. AII, IAI, and then EIO, and OAO. And for the last figure, tatlo lamang ang unconditional. AEE, IAI, and then EIO. The rest, yung 9 dito, ay mga unconditional. They demand the uh, truthfulness, the existential factuality of uh, the terms used. Pero dito sa unconditional, ibig sabihin, given na lahat ng ter terms na tama at totoo at factual. Pero dito sa baba, kailangan <coughs> ng material uh, evidence or dapat factual talaga para magiging tama. Yun ang condition. Ibig sabihin, kung walang existence, kung walang material existence, there is no factuality of the terms used, they are invalid. Kaya conditional siya. Ano ba yung condition yung sinasabi ko na factuality? For example, existence of a unicorn. Ginamit doon sa, ginamit na term doon. May unicorn ba talaga? Yun ang condition. AEO, for example. Ito, AEO. May unicorn ba talaga? Kung meron, valid. Pero pag wala, invalid siya. Meron ba talagang virus? Meron ba talagang COVID-19? If the term is used, yun ang ginamit na term, COVID-19, and the, the medical community would, it's a fact. So valid siya. Ganon. So that is the figure and mood. Any questions so far? Actually, that is the end. Ito yung mga succeeding ito, yung mga ano na, helpful tips for you to better understand and memorize the moods. The, the valid moods. Any questions so far? with the Venn diagram. Nag-drawing, drawing kayo. Paan sa mod? Nag-shade. Just 
So we'll proceed with the Venn diagram. So I hope you have watched the video. I'm going to implement the search. And yeah. No, well, where is that? Okay. Is there anything on the screen or there's nothing? Parang nawala yung presentation po. Sir, sir, awam pai. Wala, okay. So, di ko nga wala. Wala po, sir. Ay, ano yan. Okay, no po, sir. Done. Okay, good. So, Venn diagrams. This is testing validity. So, by diagramming, we are, we'll be able to determine whether a syllogism is valid or invalid. Yan lang ang gamit nito. Kapag ginamit natin yung Venn diagram na yan, may tatlong circles. Malalaman natin kung isang syllogism ay valid or invalid. Okay? So, we have three circles. So, paano, paano ba yun? We will diagram the two premises. I-diagram natin yung dalawang premises, the major and the minor premises. And then, if we are able to read the conclusion after diagramming the two premises, then it is valid. Ganon siya. Pag na-diagram natin yung dalawang premises, tapos makikita na natin yung conclusion doon, valid siya. Pero pag hindi natin siya nakita, wala yung conclusion. Pagkatapos natin i-diagram yung dalawang premises, ibig sabihin, invalid yung ating syllogism. Ganon siya. Pero paano ba yung pag-shade? Pag, uh, so, we have this example. All baseballs are round. Or all SRP. So, our here. We have here the S. We feel the P circle, SP, ganyan. All S, R, P. Oh, wait, is this now the first, ano? Para, Rogenta, J, Rogina. Where is that? Okay. All S, R, P. Sabi dito, the, this one, the shaded one, area where there aren't members of a category is shaded. Lahat ng S, I, P. Ganun lang siya. Kaya, this part, I hope you can see my, that, our, my ano, cursor. This part, ito yung aparte, where S and P, or the two circles, met, dito sila. 
Okay? Ibig sabihin, this is part of S at the same time, part of P. At sinasabi dito sa atin, all S are P. So, lahat ng bahagi ng S na bahagi ng P, dapat nandyan. Open siya. Kaya yung hindi bahagi ng P na S, isa-shade natin. Ayan. Kaya na-shade siya. Dapat clear yung lahat ng S na kasapi ng P. Ayan. Sir, paano pagbaliktad? All PRS. Dabaliktarin natin. Ganun lang din. Babaliktarin lang din. Ito ang isa-shade natin. Further. Saan ba yung iba? Halimbawa. So, tulad nito. All baseballs are round. Yan. Yung S, pinalitan na natin ng P. Ah, baseball. P, round. So, pag ganyan ang shading, yan ang sinasabi. Lahat ng baseballs ay P. Ah, P, round. All baseballs are round. That's why we have to shade this one outside ng P. Ito. Outside ng round. Kasi lahat ng baseballs nandyan kung nasaan ang round ay open. Ano pang halimbawa dito? Ayan. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Baseballs, round. Kasi lahat ng baseballs ay round. Outside ng round ay hindi baseball. Kaya nga sinade natin ito. Okay? Outside of this round ay hindi na siya baseball. Kasi lahat ng round ay, lahat ng baseballs ay round. Ito, no penguins are traffic cops. In short, no SRP. Ibig sabihin, they have no connection. Las, las lang connect, connection. Kasi walang penguin sa na traffic cops. Walang S na P. Kaya pinutol na natin yung ano nila, ugnayan nila kasi wala silang ugnayan. Ganun lang. We shade this area. We shade this area. Hindi nagsabatanda. So wala silang connection. Walang S na P. Walang P na S. Kaya may andyan yung shade sa gitna. Okay? That is, that is just the first proposition. Paano pag sum naman? Kasi yung kanina, parehong A, uh, parehong universal. Paano nang, pag, paano nang pag particular? If it is I, N, O, ito. May X pala dito. Some rabbits are vicious killers. Yan, it indicates yung X natin. Some X are P, kung nalang data. So, nagsabat that, 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 that the S nga P. Ayan. X ang ginamit natin. At that, that to yung nagsabatan damit lang. Kapag ganito ang sinasabi, kapag I proposition, automatically, andun sa gitna yung X natin. Okay? So, at least one member of a category is in that area. Sum of S is here. As part of E of P. Ayun. Kanina sa I, kung saan sila nag-meet. Okay? Dito naman, sa O. Sa labas naman. Okay? It indicates that at least one member of a category is not a member. So some college students are not millionaires. Ito yung college students. 
some of them are not millionaires. So, nasa labas. If it is affirmative, sa loob. Sa loob ng predicate. Kapag R sana ito, walang not. Ilagay natin yung X dito sa gitna. Kasi may mga college students na millionaires. Pero dahil sinasabi niyang wala, uh, mayroong mga hindi, nilagay natin sa labas. So, ganyan siya. So, kompleto na AEIO. So, shading kapag A and E, pag I and O, X. So, it will appear as like this, the Venn diagram. So, the first two circles, S and P. The third circle, sa gitna nila ay the middle term. So, for representation, yung space na ito, yung middle term natin is 1. And then, in between middle, middle term and the minor term is 2. Then, the intersection of them all is 3. Intersection of M and P is 4. So, loss is 5. Intersection ng S and P, 6. And then, yung solo naman ni P is 7. Later on, we might be using this one. Instead of shading, I will just ask you to identify the areas by putting the numbers. So, ito na, kompleto na. Kompletohin na natin yung shading natin. So, halimbawa, ito na. All P are M. So, how are, saan nang i-shade natin ito? Yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, the proposition is in between P and M. Lahat, ng, lahat daw ng P ay M. Kaya yung bahagi ng M, uh, bahagi ng P na nasa loob ng M, ay open na siya yan. Yung P na labas ng M ay shaded siya. Ulitin ko ha. Dahil lahat ng P ay M, yung area na Walang M sa P ay shaded siya. Kaya yung intersection nila ay open. Sunod is all MRS. So all MRS, it is between M and S now. Ibig sabihin, shade din natin yung S, this part. Ito ang shade natin. Okay. Kasi all M, lahat ng M ay S. Yung outside ng M na S, i-shade natin yun. So, ganito ang kanyang itsura. Saan ka na? Saan ka na? Parang balik tayo sa nabi ko pala. Let's try to say again. So, ito, all PRM. Ay, tama. All PRM. Kaya na-shade natin ito. Kasi lahat ng bahagi ng P na nasa M ay dapat open. And all MRS. Yung M pala ang ating isa-shade. Kasi lahat ng bahagi ng na wala sa S, dapat shade siya. Yung M na bahagi ng S, dapat open siya. Kasi lahat ng M ay S. Kaya magiging itsura, ganyan siya. Again, as I have said a while ago, we are using this to test the validity of, this, of a syllogism. If we diagram the first, the, the two premises, and we can read, we can see, the conclusion then, it is valid. So, here we are. Can we read now all SRP? 
all S R P. So, ito S R P. Does it show? Lahat ng bahagi ng P na nasa S dapat clear siya. Anyway, this is valid. Okay? Uh, disregard this one. Okay lang ito. There are many instances na ganito siya. And that's just fine. Kasi half lang naman yan. Hindi siya whole. Okay? So that is valid. Because if you're going to look at it, there is this all SRP. Kasi itong bahagi na ito, shaded na siya. Shaded siya. Kasi lahat ng bahagi ng P na S dapat open siya. Na -shade, we just shaded this because this area, this number 6, in relation to M a while ago. Okay? But definitely this is valid. Yan. So another example. Some PRM, all MRS, some SRP. So, some PRM, so it is between P and M. If it is I, we use X. And, sabi natin, kapag I, sa gitna ng kanilang intersection. Kasi kapag O, sa labas. So, ibig sabihin, we're going to put X dito sa intersection ng 1 and 7. Ibig sabihin dito sa 4. But are we sure that it is, it, it is 4? Hindi dito sa linya. Hindi, hindi dito. Sa between 3 and 4. Uh, we'll see. Then, all M are S. It is between M and S. M. And then S. Saan ang ating ishade dito? We'll see. But I'm telling you now, if in the premise we have a particular, we have a particular proposition, uunahin natin yung universal proposition. So dito, yung major premise natin ay particular. Pero yung minor premise natin ay universal. Alin ang uunahin natin dyan? Sinasabi, ng, sinasabi na ang unahin natin ay ito. So, it means hindi laging major premise ang unahin natin. Kung parehong universal, unahin natin yung major. Pero pag may particular, unahin natin yung Universal, kahit saan pa siya dyan. Okay? So, yun sinasabi ko kanina. Sa, gitna, sa four ba o sa gitna nilang dalawa dito? Kaya to be safe, uunahin natin yung shade. Uunahin natin yung universal. Kasi nangyayari itong ganitong X sa gitna na yan. Kapag kinuhuli natin yung Universal. Kaya gan ganyan siya. Bakit ganyan siya? Bakit naging ganyan siya? So, kasi inu inuna natin yung all MRS. Ito. Lahat ng M na kasali sa S, andito na siya. Kaya yung outside ng S na M, sinid na natin. Then, after that one, ito naman ang i-diagram natin, yung sum PRM. So, between M and P and sa, princip sa principle na naman we do not put any X in a shaded area. Huwag na huwag nating ilalagay ang X sa shaded area. Kaya hindi pwedeng ilagay dito sa 4. Hindi rin siya pwedeng ilagay dito sa gitna kasi masasagi yung shaded area. Kaya saan pwedeng ilagay? sa number 
we premises. Now, the question is, can we read? Mababasa ba natin yung conclusion? Let's see. Some SRP. So again, kapag I, dapat nasa gitna nilang dalawa sa intersection nila yung X. And in this case, o ito, mababa, mababasa naman natin ito. Some SRP. There is an X in between S and P. So that is why this is valid. Again, uh, disregard this one. Okay na tayo dito. Kasi yung conclusion ang pinakamahalaga. So, ganun, ganun lang siya kadali. So, another tip. Yung tip na sinasabi ko kanina. Malalaman at malalaman nyo na valid at invalid pag babalikan nyo yung pinakita ko kanina na bilang ng o oh, yung mga moods and figures. We have 15 unconditionally valid syllogisms based from the moods and figures given. The challenge now is can you how will you diagram those correctly? So given that uh, anytime you can just open those lists kaya hindi pwede, hindi kayo pwedeng magkamali sa pag-identify kung yung syllogism ay valid o invalid. Kopyahin nyo lang doon. Ang challenge na lang ngayon ay yung pag-diagram kung tama o mali. And I'm telling you now, I taught this subject before and sa exam o sa quizzes, marami nakaka-perfect kasi nandyan na siya talaga. Close notes pa nun. Kasi face-to-face. -face. How much more sa inyo ngayon na open. You just need time. Nandiyan na lahat ng sagot actually. Kung magkamali man sa diagramming na lang, pero dun sa mga moods and figures, for validity, nandiyan na. Yun na mismo. That's it for today. Any questions so far? Written J. Question. One to seventy. Answer them. It's not one to seventy. It is seventy points. That is that was only ten items. It's different. Far different. Any question? Balikan niyo yung videos. Baka mas maintindihan na ninyo. My lecture is not enough if you don't practice. I am asking you to practice. Kakapiyaw lang ito pag hindi nito rin aktis yung Venn diagramming ninyo wala. So assignment ninyo, uh, you submit a photo of your work. Jai kwa. Jim bagap di last time, the activity, the exercise you. So, ibig sabi nag drawing kayo ti circle, nag shade kayo, diagram kayo, picture nyo diya, yap ko yung stream, stream. So that everybody will access. Then next week, uh, next meeting, I will put the correct answer. I will put the correct diagram. Given na yung validity, and diagramming na lang tayo. Yes? So in yung nga ko, exercise DA, sir? Jainted ko the last time. Sir, ah, pwede ibinasa man yan? Ah, hindi na tayo nakakainindihan pag ganyan. Sir, wala pa sa... Did, did you not read my instruction? It's there. Hindi ko nang enjoy. I-diagram yun, Jai. Ten syllogisms.
Pwede lang ito sukutan nyo, Jai. Let me, let me show you. So, I will show you the, ano, the, just one correction, okay? So this one, I told you to diagram this activity, okay? The 10 syllogisms. Uh, I think there was there's just a correction. Nagkamali ako. Where is that part? The this this one. All no L is P. All P are K. Some K R L. Ang nilagay ko dun is O. Pero I dapat siya ito this one. This one. So you're going to diagram these ten syllogisms. You put it on a bond paper or pad pad paper. You take a photo of it and then submit it in the Google Classroom. Ilagay sa stream kasi pwede namang mag-upload ng uh, pictures doon. So instead of private submission, public submission siya for uh, public consumption. Next meeting, I will be uploading also the correct diagram. Then kita nyo to no correct kayo. So exercise lang siya. And after that one, yung mahaba-habang quiz na siya. Expect uh, 100 plus points. Few items pero maraming points kasi combination na lahat yan. Lahat na, ng, lahat na nang na-discuss natin. Application na lahat. So any question of your assignment activity? Sir, ano Juna? What? Juna, of course, before next meeting, kasi next meeting, ako ang mag-upload ng tama para makita ninyo yung tama at mali. Got it? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, imagine only for 100 plus students, only 34 attended. Okay. Should I upload this for them or not? Dakanyam data, sir. Ah, dakanyam. Mm -hmm. Safest, safest answer. Stop. Safest answer. Upload, sir. Sir, i-upload mo na lang. No, na di ba na lang. I-review me ulit. Hmm, okay. Sige. I will. Nga madik ibagbag, ah. No, kaano. Pendence. Yes. Kasi ang, ang bigat, ang bigat mag-upload ng ganito. Ganito kahaba na ano. But I will upload for your, ano, especially for those who are not around. Attendance talaga, ah. Gusto ko yan. <laughs> Pero anin ko naman yung attendance kung yung wala kang naintindihan. I will post ano uh call doon sa ano sa attendance sa group chat natin though I I already took screenshots for attendance counted lang yung naiwan ngayon na 33 Okay if you have no clarifications or any questions that's it for today have a good day thank you very much Thank you sir Thank you sir Thank you sir Hi sir Thank you sir